Hi everyone, um, I'm Sarah. I started the Sourdough for Beginners group on Facebook. Um, I'm always here, I'm always creating tutorials, I'm always answering questions. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick live just to show you a couple of things. So if you've been in the group a while or if you're new to the group, sooner or later you're gonna hear me say that I always recommend um, that beginners start with a low hydration recipe. Low hydration recipes have less water, they're less sticky, they're easier to work with. And the reason that I recommend that beginners start with a lower hydration recipe is because it's much more forgiving as you go through and master all of the steps. So what do you do? You get your starter ready, you feed it, you try to get it at peak, you mix up your recipe, you stretch it, you fold it, right? You bulk proof it. And then the next steps are to pre-shape your bread, which is a really important process, um, and then shape your bread and bake it. So today I mixed up a higher hydration recipe. It's close to 85%. Um, and I just wanna show you what it is about a higher hydration recipe that makes it so that I recommend that you don't start with a hydration, um, high hydration level as a beginner. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you the pre-shaping of this higher hydration recipe. Um, I put a link uh, to, in the description of this live, which brings you to all of our tutorials. It's got um, how to on a starter, common starter questions. It's got the low hydration beginner bread recipe. Um, recipe and it's also got an important conversation on high hydration but I just wanted to show you what it looks like okay so I had one beginner bread recipe mixed up today I separated it into two loaves I've already pre-shaped this one and I want to show you something I can touch this dough I can rub it it's not sticking right I have experience I know what I'm doing so it's just it's good, right? So here's my dough bulk proofed. And I'm always posting this video on using these containers. So you can see that earlier today, my, my dough wasn't touching the edges of my container. And it hasn't raised up double in size, but it's expanded to close to double. And because this is a higher hydration recipe, I'm actually going for closer to 75 percent um, rise rather than um, rather than um, a double. Now, if you look at this dough, if I touch it, it's extremely sticky. And if you don't know what you're doing as a beginner with sourdough, this can be very scary. And in fact, you could end up in a situation where you feel like your dough is ruined. Um, so. So the first lesson in this very quick live is that as a beginner, the smartest thing you can do is start with a lower hydration recipe, master all of the steps, and then start increasing your hydration. Now, if you have increased your hydration, then I wanna show you how you should manage your dough. So as you watch this, see how it comes out. It's very sticky. It's very floppy. Let's just bring this down a little, right? And this is what the importance of pre-shaping is. If I were to try to grab this dough, it would stick to the counter, it would stick to my hands. It seems like something you can't use. But this is what pre-shaping does. So I don't have any flour, my hands aren't wet. I use just a dull knife, but a bench scraper is what you're supposed to use here, okay? And all I'm doing is building tension in the bread. So all I'm doing is starting at the top, and just rotating around the bread. I'm touching it as little as I can with my hands. And if you watch, after a few of these, so I'm just lightly, barely touching, right? All I'm doing is starting to build tension in the bread. But if you're watching, what you should see is that the bread is starting to get really smooth. It's getting way less sticky. Look at this one. It doesn't stick at all. It's starting to have bubbles. So all I'm doing with this is building tension so that the bread becomes workable. So basically all I'm doing is pushing and sliding, dragging the dough across my counter. This is a super important step. So one of the most common things that I see in the group is, oh my gosh, I went to make my dough. I went to shape my dough and it was so sticky I couldn't work with it. 
you probably skipped this step. And if you go to the YouTube channel, which is in the link that's in the description of this live, if you go on the YouTube channel, you'll see there's a video called Don't Skip This Step or something along those lines, and it's all about pre-shaping. So you just watched that dough. I was touching it. It was sticking to my hands. It was sticking to the container. It came out a sloppy mess, right? Now look. Not sticking. I mean, if I push, it would probably stick. Nope. It won't. Okay, so that's why I just wanted to do this very quick live. So all I'm going to do in about 30 minutes, I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes. My oven is preheating. I've got my stones in the oven. I've got a tray of water underneath them. I'm going to sprinkle a good amount of flour here in front of my dough. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to grab it like this. I'm going to stretch it up and flip it down. And then I'm going to shape it the way you see um, sourdough being shaped but this part here we've built this skin with almost almost no effort very little effort so anyhow quick live I just really wanted to show you th that this and discuss a why you should start with a lower hydration and b as your hydration increases why pre-shaping is so very important okay guys have a good night um, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I will be happy to answer. Talk to you later.